five or six weeks into that journey and tragedy struck our household and I lost my firstborn son so I put the Bible down I couldn't keep going I didn't have the heart but I kept walking by it morning after morning Finally, I picked up the Bible and I looked up and said, uh, I'm going to give you a chance. That's what I told the God of all creation, that I'm going to give him a chance. Imagine that. And I started reading again. And when I started reading, I learned something about relationships. See, to have a relationship with anybody, you gotta be talking to them. And they gotta be talking to you. You have to be listening to them, and they have to be listening to you. Well, the way God talks to us is through His Word. And the way we talk to Him is through prayer. So, the way I see it, do I really have a relationship with God at all if I'm not talking to Him and He's not talking to me? And listen, I discovered there's something beautiful about having a relationship with God. You see, God makes us these promises. God makes us these promises. And the one I've been holding on to for the last three and a half years with everything in me is that God promises if we have a relationship with him, he will never leave us or forsake us. It doesn't mean your troubles will go away. It doesn't mean he'll just snap his fingers. That wasn't the promise. The promise was that he'd never leave us. And if you look in the hardest, coldest places, if you look for God, He's there. He remains faithful.